Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot with your monthly numerology forecasts and this video is for those whose life path or character number is 6. If you don't know how to calculate your life path or character number, please follow the link down below in the description box uh, to the video where I explain how to do this. It's really simple. So uh, we have general information, love, money and changes for your December 2019. And uh, what else? Well, nothing I know. I think you know the drill. Those of you who are watching my numerology forecast, you know the drill, guys. So we are rolling and starting with the general energy. So life path number six. What's happening? We have nine of wands, five of wands and the empress. I do feel like, well, life worth number six, six, you are connected, highly connected with the Venus. Venus uh, is also about um, Empress energy. It is here and it feels like you have an inner conflict between this desire to love and to be loved, to care, to be cared for. You have so much of it and it's so important in your life. But there is a catch, guys. For number six, it's always a catch because sometimes you forget about your worth if you don't have a relationship. Like you see your worth through your partner's eyes and it's not a very good thing because this way you are forgetting that you are worthy no matter what. Like for example, if you have no partner, you think that maybe you you you, you start punishing yourself, you start beating yourself up, you, you are denying yourself any value. And this is not right because you are the freaking empress. You are valuable no matter what happens. No matter if there is somebody right now beside you who sees it or not. So there is the desire to love and there is the past experience. That you, you've been through this catch already. You know it. You've been there. You don't want to repeat it. But it feels like you are preparing for... Uh, you want to act, you want a new, maybe you know, you want a development in your relationship, maybe you want a new relationship, you want some action, you want some movement forward, but at the same time, see, she has the sun around her, her head, so she realized something, or oh, he, cards are not gender specific, I'm just speaking about the art here, the empress is she, so she realized something, she got the message, she, she has understood something. So, and this is creating some inner conflict. So you are, I, I feel like you're growing. I feel like you're growing with this Empress card. You are personally, your personal journey, you are getting more mature. But at the same time, you want action around you. You want action. Um, it's like you want this new beginning so bad. So you're like a general prepared for another battle here. But your higher self is here like... Please use this experience as needed. Remember things and there is a kind of, some kind of inner conflict. Okay, let's see more about love. It's not all about, it's general, but I do feel like it's more about relationship issues here. So it's either you want this relationship to come to, to go forward on a new level. But for most of you, for those who are resonating with this energy, it's about... Um, you are either single or dating or in between something searching uh, for the right person but you can't find it and there is maybe a desire to get any kind of relationship but you hire yourself like no, 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 no. And here we have it. You see we have two of pentacles, four of swords and six of wands. Your love life is kind of on pause now. On pause. And you are also, yeah, you are going like Shall I go out with this? I'm not saying you don't have any suitors. No, number six, you usually you have, you have, you are never left without a, a, a attention. But it's like you're like, maybe you go out once with one and twice with another one. And like, is it seriously like, uh, is it what I want? Is it what fits me? Is it what suits my empress energy? And uh, But mostly like, no, no. So... And you are choosing with the six of wands, you are choosing 
mm, yourself you're choosing not to fall for any kind of man who wants you but you're choosing yourself you're standing your ground uh you're standing it tall and you're like i will be me i will be strong no it's not like this i am strong uh i will be me no matter what and it's like i know what i want i know what i want so yeah, you may be dating but there is nothing serious and you are thinking a lot and you are being more careful than usual with uh, the choices you make yeah the three of coins it's about it's like the hermit you are maybe stepping away from commitments not saying you're stepping away from the dating scene, no, but you are not letting anybody close. You are watching them shrewdly. You are watching them carefully. Like, are you what? Um, are you able to become my teammate or not? Because usually you are asking, like, do they like me? Am I good enough? Something like this. You're trying to impress other people, but now the situation's changed. You understand that you are this empress, and you're asking another question, like. Do you fit to be my partner? Do you fit to be my team? Do you fit to play on my f in on my team? Uh, and for now, no. For now, there is um, nobody like this. So, but there is a lot of thinking. There is a lot of inner growth. There is a lot of understanding about who you are, about what you want. And I think it's great. It's really important. Take your time uh, to figure out who you are. It will help you in the future to find out somebody who really fits you well okay your money we have some action with your money with the knight of eight of wands but this action makes you think makes you you're watching somebody or something and i do feel like um, there will be some conversation about some idea maybe some maybe somebody is doing something that you want to be doing or maybe somebody is um maybe you've been watching some opportunity but now you will have the clarity with the ace of swords um, queen of wands yeah it seems like you've been watching some opportunity from a bit apart aside from aside but there will be some action here finally you will either have a conversation with your friend who is already doing this kind of business and um uh, oh you will figure out how to create something or do something that will inspire you as well with this queen of wands there's a lot of creativity there's a lot of inspiration with the eight of wands there's a lot of action so you are you will have your clarity about your money about where you are going um not getting you what you are having your money no it's like you're choosing the new direction and it seems like you will choose one you will choose one that will inspire you a lot Let's see. Ooh, wow. We have Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, and Ace of Wands here. So in the end of December, you are definitely, you will find this spark within you and you will blow it up to make a, a real fire, like a, a real fire here. You, and I'm getting, I'm not getting it's about you attracting other people, but it's about you attracting yourself working with yourself growing and enjoying the process it's like you are enjoying yourself and uh, you will notice this spark you will enjoy it you will enjoy the process of its growing and you will grow it to to the big flame definitely mm. it's like you're waking up some creativity within you and not only creativity different energy your energy is ch changing your energy is changing and with the justice here this is you kind of bringing the balance because before your energy was about like pleasing others now you are investing it into yourself and it's restoring balance it's about restoring balance the judgment and the justice yeah this is kind of but i'm not getting the judgment about reconciliation with others no but it's like taking the veil of your eyes of your head and like a reconciliation with yourself this is how i will call it i would call it a reconciliation with yourself finally restoring the balance finally investing in yourself for shifting focusing on yourself and on your path and on your talents and on your creativity on your energy this is this is great this is great number six i do love this energy 
and it's uh, by the way these changes they will not be temporary they will be big they will be long term and they will influence your long term future as well we have this two major arcanas big big changes i do feel that there are big changes happening within you and that will influence many many months in your future and years too well guys great energy thanks for watching this forecast with me and uh, have a great december hope to see you soon with my other videos bye